Hey man, good morning. I want to go straight and check on our meat because it's been dry aging now. And look at it. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Come on, seriously, this is looking good. I mean, look at the half side of beef that we got there and then the four ducks. And we're going to be grilling one of the ducks tomorrow. So that's kind of cool. But I got two of these shells here, which we're going to load up with some pork. So we're going to go to the butcher right now, get some pork and start loading up that dry aged cabinet. Because having two cabinets half filled, not a great idea. I definitely got some beautiful pork legs. <laughs> they look fantastic. And I had them cut especially for dry aging. So the hooves are still on and they cut around like the shoulder, like the whole shoulder. So the neck is off and the rest of the body still on. Even a little bit of the ribs still on. And that's absolutely perfect. I, I, I love these. Um, the question is, will they fit? Well, there we are. Beautiful legs. But I think, if you look at this, it's definitely not gonna fit like this. That's big. Whatever I'm gonna do, I can't fit them with the half side of beef, so they gotta go with a duck. But of course, a lot of people say, well, you shouldn't put them together. Other people say, perfectly fine, don't worry about it. The cabinet is decontaminating by itself all the time, so don't worry about cross-contamination. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. But for me, there's one way to figure out. It's, it's to do it. We gotta test it, we gotta make sure if it works or if it doesn't work, but I wanna minimize the risks. The duck's already dried in, so it's not dripping any more of its juices or releasing any more of its moisture in a sense that you get dripping from it. So if I use that salt to capture now the drippings only from the pork, but also create like an antibacterial barrier between the pork and the duck, it might work, it might be a thing. So let's do that. Oh, they already firmed up quite a bit. Looking good. This could probably work. Then I'm gonna put this on top. Tray out. Let's put the first one in and see if this works. Oh, this is so cool. This is gonna work. And number two. Wow, that looks so good. Let's quickly close this up and let the temperature restore. This is gonna be so good. What do you think? You thinking it's a good idea? Project number three in progress. And I'm thinking about making pulled pork out of this. So we can dry age it for a while, but we don't need to overdo it, but we'll see. We'll just see. Let's go. I'm just saying right now, 30 days, but we'll see. I just want to see how it develops. It's kind of like research that we're doing. So if you don't have failures, not really research, right? So not that I want any failure. This research thing is like, I don't think it's real research. It's not research. Definitely not. Good morning, Morrison! Good morning. Well, it's, it's nearly evening. Oh, we're so slow today. Dude, I'm not slow today. I'm not slow today. I you're am? saying, yeah, you're saying we're slow today, but I'm not slow today. Okay, but I'm, I'm also not slow today. Okay. Only one that's really slow. That's this one. But I started this morning uh, with the gate because yesterday they got a gate installed because it's necessary. Some people just drive and just break things here. And so uh, I had to install a gate right there. And uh, well, it's getting to the phase where it's near complete, but I started this morning early. Morrison also started early because he had to get some chicken because somehow nobody had chicken wings in this world. What's the matter with everybody? Why, Morrison, couldn't you find chicken wings? What's the story? I don't know, there's just, they're not as popular anymore, I guess. Or, or they're too popular. I was even in a supermarket and the lady told me, uh, sorry, we only have them when they're on sale. Otherwise they don't have them. 
How can you not have chicken wings? Oh, Marcin, you, you gotta check this out. Come on. I want to show Marcin the, uh, the, the pork legs. Yeah, I, saw, I already saw it, man. You saw I, it? Yeah, I walked right past it and I was like, another one. The, what? Another one. Another is one? Is this yours or is it the butcher's? It's mine. It's kind of getting full. I, I you, you do get that they have to in and they have to be in for a long time, right? It's not like you put them in for a week. No. No, it's full now. No. No, it's like you can't go back now. It's look, we have a little spot there. Yeah, yeah, okay, but it's like <laughs> you need another one. I think we can still fit some beef yeah, yeah, in, yeah, right? The, in that like this area. And the it's been a week. Roll, 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 roll. It's been a week. You have to be careful what you put in. Somebody warned me, and he said, "Well, there's going to be phases where the food that you're dry aging doesn't look that good." Yeah, yeah, and that's totally true. Uh, look at the duck. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. It looks ugly. Look at how ugly that is. Yeah. It's like a rotten orange. It's like uh, one of those art shows, you know, where they <laughs> display uh, humans, like dead humans and their flesh. It's like that. What this, are you saying? Uh, you, know, you know that art show? It's, look it up. It's, it's exactly like that. Come on. This is scary, Morrison. You're scaring me. Dead people? Dead people? Are you serious? Dead people? Ah, oh, dude. That's gross. Oh, censored. It's weird. Yeah. That's just weird. You know, if, if you're not going to eat it, why would you do that? I don't get it. all these crazy things, man. It doesn't look appetizing to me. And like, we're cooking in a minute. Like, it's not what I want to be thinking of. I want to be thinking of like these beautiful chicken wings, mountain of chicken wings, garlic, parsley, salt and pepper. And we're going to have a tasty day. And you're talking about dead humans. Shut it up, we're going to film. All right. The chicken wings are marinated. I'm gonna set them in the fridge and they're gonna be in there for at least two hours or as long as it takes for us to finish the other video. And uh, the other video is kind of like an intriguing video to me because it's something that I struggle with a lot on my YouTube channel is I really wanna make videos that explain things well to people and where I really um, add value, you know? I want to inspire as many people as I can to go on barbecue. But there's a, a like there's an entertainment factor about barbecuing and but there's also a knowledge factor about barbecue. But the two don't mix, mix like super well. And uh, and now I got this beautiful St. Louis style rib. Beautiful thing. And I decided not to make a recipe out of it. But that's not true. So basically I got a recipe and we're cooking the recipe, but it's not about the recipe. It's about how you're supposed to be cooking in a kettle grill with charcoal or briquettes or whatever technique. And I wanna kind of explain all the techniques and all the ways, but I can't of course. So I gotta like narrow it down a little bit, compact it, but still tell a story so someone on the other side watching you yeah you kind of like get a good idea of well, how you should do it and how you not to do it this is this is why why we have Morrison he yeah. pushes the red button but more importantly is he makes the story correct sometimes you just fail to explain what you're actually doing your your mind is like your mind is already here but we the people the people or like here, we, we, ha we have to catch up. So I have to pull you back and say, come on, man, w what are you doing? That's what he does. No, and, and you push the red button, but that's too easy. Oh, easy? <laughs> I, can put the, I can push the red button. You gotta do it look, with finesse. Look, dude, I can do it too. Watch this. First cook of the day done. We got our chicken wings, we got smoked. Roasted and grilled chicken wings. They really, really do look good. And this is the horrible part about the whole barbecue show. Is we can't actually taste them. They're done, they're ready, but Morrison needs to take pictures. We need to get, get, to get the shots, to get everything ready. And then when everything's done, then we can start tasting them. But I'm so hungry right now. I could eat like everything on this plate. This is totally insane. But yeah, we gotta wait. And you know, I'm not the only one that feels this way. There's this one little person right there. Eva, <laughs> you see the reaction? What, what, what? She's going crazy. 
She wants some chicken wings. But I'm just curious to find out which one's best. Smoked, roasted or grilled? I'm not sure yet. I'm really in doubt. So yeah, the other cook is still not done yet. It says 30 minutes left, but I'm guessing it's more like an hour or so. So we'll just let that run, finish this video. And when that's done, then we'll go back to the ribs. Oh, our ribs turned out good. Ooh, look at that. Wow, look, the whole bone <laughs> fell off on this side. I think we cooked it until extremely tender. These ribs look insane. I got a close up the meter. Look, it says done. We're done. That's Dutch for done. Klaar. I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys. Because it's not part of the, the video that's going to go on YouTube. On the main channel. So, there we go. Now don't throw away these juices, baby. That's pure magic. So I'm going to set this aside. Let's take a closer look at this. Ooh wee! Smoked it to a core temperature of 70 degrees, then wrapped it. Ooh. So tender. <laughs> look at this. Oop, I, I tried to hold it there at that bone. Now that's extra juicy. Extra, extra juicy. It's not, it's really, we shouldn't call this ribs. We should call this just, I don't know, a whole lot of meat. A whole lot of pork. It's like beef ribs. Cooked to perfection. And it's still a little bit hot. Mosho, we should finish up the other video. I got a little surprise from Morrison this morning. Morrison. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations. On what? Hitting 50,000 subscribers on or followers on Instagram. Oh. I like the gate, by the way. You like the gate? We yeah, got I we got a gate. Like a really Batman feeling. Yeah, it was like the entering the bath cave. Welcome in the bath cave. Let me help you with that. Rolling out the gear. Of course, the dog's trying to not help. Love this thing. This thing is awesome. And totally as advertised. Really uh, professional, sturdy uh, gear. You should say that they don't need to buy this. Well, they could buy this, but not this brand. Not, no, I, exactly. But we, I don't know what brand it is, brandless. Yeah, well, if it has spinners on it, if yeah. it has nice rims on it, don't buy it. Uh, the, yeah, the rims absolutely make no sense. Look at that. We got nice rims on our photo card, but your professional opinion about it is... Kind of sucks, but no, but it's not true. Well, yeah, but no. If everything like this works fine, you know, if the drawers just close normally, it would be fine. And okay, it's a little bit crooked, that's our fault. Yeah, we dropped it a couple of times. We dropped it a couple of times because, but th that's also a weird thing. There's no, it's a weird balance in it. Uh, it. It has wheels, but it's not supposed, you're not supposed to no. ride it. No. But it doesn't make sense to me. Why put wheels on something that yeah. you're not supposed to move? Well, Morrison, yes. I also got you a gift. Oh yeah. Because, because I hit the 50,000 on Instagram. Yeah. I have a gift for you. It is. Ooh, the filters are in. Yeah, nice. Yes. This is nice. You know, before that light guy came, I never heard uh, about this even. Now I know the purpose of it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a light pro. You're already an expert. D there just happened to be a light god passing by. Yeah, okay. It was beaming down yeah. all his wisdom upon you. I know more than most people. Now I know a, a little bit more, but there was a light god here. Now you're entering the light god zone. <laughs> Romek, if you're watching, we, we just called you a light god. Yeah, don't get too comfortable. Somebody commented on my vlog that um, you just need a phone and th that's it. 
because uh, and a good story technically that's true but that's how this vlog started and i got a lot of comments on how shaky it was and the quality is not good enough so yeah we're not getting away with that and besides um we all more so how much time and energy do we spend on lighting it's not that much right no if you have good lighting you don't have to do a lot of work in post-production or cam or with camera work so if everything's well lit in a in a right way, then it saves us time. You happy? Yeah. That's good. This is gonna work a lot. Actually, it's more of a present for the audience than for you. Yeah, it is. It's a present for for the quality. Um. Yeah, poop test. <laughs> no, you're not sure it's a poop test. I think it is. Uh, for the viewers at home, when what? it says gut health test, yes, it's probably a poop test, right? <laughs> All right, we we've got a we found a, a sponsor <laughs> for a video, and uh, that's super cool because of course we need sponsors to pay for all Morrison's barn lights and things and doors and I don't know. Well, my extravagant lifestyle as, as in extra, general. Yeah, Morrison extravagant lifestyle because yeah. He also has to buy every t-shirt like Good News and Alabama, and he has to make trips everywhere. But long story short. We got um, a sponsor, and he is not sponsoring this video, but uh, on our main channel, on the Pitmaster X channel. And this is like the the one, the first one that we really think like we get excited about. But it's weird excited. It's weird excited, right? It's not. It does it's like good, uh, it does good things. It this makes is you, like this is really really helpful. But it makes you excited like a kid going on a school trip. That's how I feel. This, this, I, we're going to do a test to yeah. see if we are getting sufficient nutrition yeah. in all areas. And of course, we eat barbecue all the time. So this is like, this is the moment of truth. This is the moment of truth. What does this do to you? And I think we do pretty fine. Uh, and I think That's it's, my yeah, yeah, but we eat a lot of vegetables and fruit off camera. Yeah. But it's, um, I don't know, man. We could be like exposing a whole new thing where barbecue appears to be unhealthy for you. Could be, I don't know. Or we unlock the secret to a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, I've looked into it and they say that everybody has his own micro biome in their stomach. And with some people, uh, the, the balance is unhealthy. And that's why you feel certain problems in your life. You feel unhealthy, you have stomach, ache or you have well, what do you think is going to be your i don't know i have a lot of um uh, st uh how do you call that stomach cramps stomach acid yeah Stom burning yeah. stomach yeah. acid and who has has the same thing right yeah not anymore not anymore well but, but yeah i stopped Occasion i stopped eating vegetables it really helped yeah <laughs> but uh, from time to time i still have them and i think that the whole thing that i have uh, 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 like acid in my stomach that doesn't really sound appealing uh, it cramps up my whole body and i have uh, a neck pain and shoulder pain and it's all from the biomes in here i don't know about that I don't... why is it so dark what's happening to the world i think we're getting rain might have a thunderstorm that's good news but i think i think you're over exaggerating morrison you're not, you're like a healthy guy. You're young, you're fit, but it's a kind of like a cool test to do, to see if um, if if this whole barbecue thing is uh, affecting our bellies. Yeah, do you guys ever saw my cat? This is our barbecue cat. Pixie, come here. Come here. You guys probably never saw that I have a cat, but I have a barbecue cat. Look at that beauty. And this co his name is Flix. He's like the coolest cat ever, except for he never shows himself. He hunts and he kills for a living. He doesn't depend on uh, ribs. Stop I, I, showing us your ass. Morrison, I have to admit, I'm kind of a cat person. More than a dog person? You kind of are, aren't you? I'm Ava, did you hear what, did you hear that? <laughs> I'm, I'm more of a cat person, Ava. I'm sorry. It's gonna be a big fight. You see? It's a boy and a girl. Did you just got this on tape? Yes. This is like... This is how we do it. This is how we roll at the is barn. This is new? This is new. This is totally... The cat got totally accepted and uh, is no longer seen as a toy. 
I had a, a Bernese Mountain Dog and this never happened to my cats and my Bernese Mountain Dog. But this is get a little bit obsessive. Now I, yeah. feel, I feel violated. Stop hugging me, animals. Morrison, this is going to be a long edit. Yeah. But with a lot of cats and dogs, because you're a cat and dog person too. I love it. And so you're going to leave this whole part in while you actually be sh should be taking no, no, it no, out. No, it's going to be in. <laughs> no, it should be taken out. It's way too much content on cats and dogs. Let's go check out the ducks. We got to check out the ducks. It, they're dry aged. Yeah, that's a Ten weird days. thing. That's a weird thing. 10 days dry aged. You shouldn't dry age chicken or ducks. But wait for it. It's really, it? it's really moist. No, I'm not gonna open it yet. No, 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 you can't open it. Uh, unless you're taking one out, you can't open it. You're not allowed to. But it's like really moist outside. But look at that little birdie. You know what my favorite uh, Asian dish is? Peking duck. Peking duck and rocks. We could farm ducks. We could have like 10 ducks and farm them ourselves. Because you, you, are, you know how much I spent on the ducks. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred euro for four ducks. I got a I got a limit on how many animals I can have here. From your wife. <laughs> yes. What's the number? So, then? Okay, see I can have I can have unlimited grills. Yeah. But I can't have unlimited animals. Name the number. That we're now at the max. So I suggested that we, we get Flicks. some I wanted to get a goat. Flix, you gotta leave now. Come on. Yeah, he doesn't come because he's yeah, practically yeah. never here. You should renegotiate with your wife because, come on, he's leaving now. And one cat counts for two ducks, right? Yeah. There he goes. There he goes. Bye bye, Caddy. Bye bye. Where are you going? Come on, let's grill some ducks. I took the first duck out, which uh, looks pretty good. Except for when I opened the, the dry edge, I had this pregnant, 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 it's not, punk, punknant pungent smell of something not being right. So we gotta check the ducks to see if they're still good. But I'm already thinking that one of them wasn't isn't good. So oh my one. I'm suspecting this one to have a problem. Why? Because because of the smell and It kind of has like that, that bad odor, like um, overripe cheese, but in a bad way. This is what we need to figure out before we can even start thinking about cooking is we need to figure out, is it the duck? What's wrong with the duck? Like, can we cut it off? Is there a good part of it? Is it all of it's bad? We gotta figure it out. This is like the first project. So this is, this is what we do. We experiment and if we fail, we've learned something. How sad would it be if the ducks aren't good? Like this is what happened. Like people don't notice. If, if you are like, if you're doing barbecue videos and you got all these projects going, sometimes something fails. So it, it's like really messed up because 100 euros of ducks gone and not being able to make that video. Like that would be horrible. But I don't want to get sick. That's See, dry aging ducks is like a really common process, so it's like every Chinese Peking duck store does this. So it's not like you can't dry age Peking duck, it's just maybe I don't know how to do it properly. Because, you know, I gotta learn. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad, it doesn't smell off. This one smells a little off. A little off. I think this one is suspicious. Is it like there might be something like I don't know, but this like looks green bluish to me and like here's like a bump that I don't know. I think I'm gonna I've been talking to Morrison about this and I'm I know deep in my heart that the project failed. This is not this is not right. There's like a, a like a hint of the meat being off. And it's probably one of the ducks. But if, if like one of the ducks is off and all of them have this like little, little smell that you think that's not entirely the way it's supposed to smell. You know, if you have your duck smell and then you have the, the duck intensifies and 
that's totally fine. But when you get the, like that super sour, like that's not right. This is not proper. So I think I'm, it's like really tough for me because I don't want this. I don't want to say this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to discard this project, but I think I'm going to have to. It's my first project. So I must have done something right. Uh, I, pro I probably did something right. I mean, I must have done something wrong. And uh, yeah, it's a learning curve. It's just not dry aging in a dry cabinet is not not that easy. It's tough. Even though you have like the best dry aged cabinets in the whole wide world. It's like these things are freaking awesome. They're super good. Except if you put a wrong product in, then yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not the right product. Or, or like maybe it's the right product, but I didn't treat it right. I think next time I would definitely rinse off the duck, clean it completely on the inside, just scrape everything off, every little bit that's left over and make it super, super clean because I don't know what else I could have done. Like I could have like dried it with paper towel, but this is like very easy to mess up because if you butcher these ducks, and you take out what's inside the cavity, but you break open the organs, then there's a lot of uh, contamination of things in the organs going onto the duck. And then when you start aging them, the, 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 the contamination starts to spread and grow and stuff like that. So I think that's it. I think we gotta call it. I think I'm calling it quits on this project. The first project dry aged goes in the bin. Sorry, bro. No duck sandwich. Freaking hell, but this bread looks so good. We can still eat the With bread. With duck. We can put some With cheese. Duck. No, Pick. you can look at it. It's this is only for duck. It's, uh, it says here only for duck. This is, how, what's the last time our, one of our video recordings failed? Yeah, I think we did quite a good job on not failing videos. Just get over it. That's YouTube, right? <laughs> you know how many people told me that this would fail? The duck in the, the fridge? <laughs> of course I told them all, no man! No! We're definitely gonna try this again. What are we going to do? Cry in a corner? No, eat salmon. Cook some salmon. <laughs> it's gonna be fine, Morrison. Give me some wipes. <laughs> oh God, I hate this. On a scale from one to 10, yeah. how excited are you now? Ooh, it must be a nine. Must be a nine. Yeah, because you have to be, we're Dutch, we're realistic. We don't give tens that often, no. but, but a nine definitely. But do you think we should actually let people see this in the vlog or should they just go watch I the video? I think you should um, show them a glimpse, like bloop. You That's should it. watch the video. If you haven't seen it yet, watch <laughs> it. I think, I think we might get some upset viewers. It's, uh, but it's good. It's good. It's freaking awesome. It's a beautiful thing. It's, it is a beautiful thing. I had I had a sneak bite, but it's for the vlog. They can I'm know. recording. No, no, no. But they, the, you, Jim's not gonna put this. In. Okay. And nobody knows. Okay, let's All go. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Today, Morrison, is kind of like a ups and downs day. Yeah. Every time you're on screen, I feel pressured. <clears throat> it has to be right. It has to film. I have to film in the right way. Yeah. And this week, I'm gonna <laughs> edit it. Morris is gonna edit this video. So if it's not the quality that you're used to, and then it's because Morrison edited it. But if it's better than you used to, it's because Morrison edited it. Yeah. It has nothing to and do that... with me filming. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry guys, I'm I'm a terrible uh, terrible filmer. Um, but ups and downs, man. I, we had like the most horrible experience this morning, and not because the dog was so bad. Because, but because we had to make a decision and it was like if the camera wasn't on, would I eat this? And the answer is no, then don't make the video. And it doesn't happen a lot, but you got to make the hard decisions and, and we did. And then just stop, get over it, move on. And then we had some really freaking awesome, delicious salmon. Oh, and uh, I got a quick tip. From the master, if you are cooking um, fish in your barbecue, don't worry about fish flavors. Just burn it up onto high temperature, burn everything off, all the fish flavor will be gone. Just set all the vents open, burn everything off, and it's gone. 
And then afterwards, you don't get even a slightest hint of flavor. Just it's got to be charred all the way. <laughs> Incinerated. That's that's a tip, Morrison. Incinerated. You want to go home or something? Why are you walking around nervously? Huh? I'm, I'm cleaning it up. <laughs> so, Morrison, I think it's time we say bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. See you guys next week. <laughs>